Hello fellow aircraft builders. Here in the new garage, getting some work done on the uh, elevators of my RV7, which are sitting there on the bench. And uh, I do have an old kit, requires me to uh, drill my own skins. These are not CNC punch, as you can see, for my stiffeners. But that's all good. I cheated a little bit. And uh, rather than using uh, this stiffener material, well, that's not the right stuff, but this stiffener material here that does not have any holes in it, I uh, bought all the new stuff that does, so at least I can line them up on the skin and uh, take care of them. Here they are, here. Here they are, here, sorry. So, I want to talk about tools for a second. Bandsaw. This is the cheapest bandsaw I could find. Mastercraft here in uh, Canada, Harbor Freight I'm sure sells these, the Ryobi brand. They're cheap, they have hard to find 62 inch blades. Um, I ended up getting a 24 teeth per inch blade from Amazon for cutting metal. They spin fast, but uh, for our purposes and cutting aluminum, I prefer this over shears because shears curl the edges up when you're cutting. So. It's definitely a nice to have and not a must have, but I mean, you guys, you, you got to see this. So for example, I just, I just fabbed this up, um, a little bit of a better bridge with less holes and stuff. And, uh, I mean, it just, it slices through this stuff like butter. Now, like I said, as you can see, it, it, it didn't it didn't curl the edge up, right? When you're using shears, I'm sure as some of you guys know, it'll just brightly curl the edge. Now, obviously this isn't done, and I'm not going right up to the line, but now I got this guy. One inch belt sander. I haven't used the disc very much, but this thing, this thing is worth its weight in gold. I mean, it's it's amazing. It just brings everything to size. See if I can do this here with my left. So as you can see, in not a lot of time, I got this guy pretty well ready to go. And my last step of my process is my 3M deburring wheel. And so I leave still a blue line visible. And I'm going to go in there and polish the edges now, as per van standards. There you 
have a nice finish, no scratch marks. Now, like I said, this stuff is not mandatory, um, but it, it definitely helps with your sanity because that is half of one stiffener. As you can see, there's still some work to do to the front. And these notches here do need to disappear before someone calls me on that. I will do a bit of a better job on that. But I got all these to do. And I mean, come on guys, we have our sanity to deal with. So it's up to you. I still think it does a better job over the scissors and uh, a little less uh, mind numbing actually. So. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm uh, moving forward with the project. Thanks you all for watching. Have a great day. Alright, so we got everything sanded to a rough size. Now if I stack everything, you know, you can see that we have rough, you know, uniform sizes within about a sixteenth. So we're starting to get there. Now I've left the blue film on 
um, just because these table surfaces are not nice and I don't want to scratch up my Alclad on this and as you can see with this guy you know I try to put some tape down but it's a really nasty rough rough finish I don't want to be dragging the aluminum across that if I can help it so I keep the blue stuff on uh, as long as I possibly can but now I'm on this nice MDF it's a nice surface and this is kind of the last uh, polishing and I found that if I leave this stuff on it gums up my wheel so I'm not gonna leave it on so first thing I'm gonna do is peel all this crap off and then I'm gonna clean them up and I'll show you how to do that with my bench grinder on its side okay so I got all the blue stuff off I just want to show you guys you know like why we're to we're, we're to size now you know we're, we're to plans dimensions basically but uh, you know why we have to go this stupid extra step of deburring everything um, but as you can see there is a flashing and I mean it's kind of tough to see on one you see a little bit there but when I grab everything now it's really easy to see. See all the rolled over edges from the sanding? That all needs to get cleaned up. If you look at the end. So, that is what we're doing now. Now this thing's really easy. I built it to make my life easier. And uh, I mean, we're basically hitting this part 360 degrees. I mean, we need every single edge, even the factory edges, um, nice and smooth. So here we go. And I don't know, if, let's see if we can, just with one pass, let's see if we can show you guys just with one pass, what that did. Oh. Let's see here. There you go, kind of. You can see it definitely. It knocked some of those factory edges off. But there's still some nicks in there. See them right there. So I keep going until it is, it is baby smooth. You know, everywhere. Um, and that there's no rolled metal anywhere. And uh, I'll show you what a, a good one looks like. Alright, so I've gotten three finished. And I have it next to three that are not finished. Actually, four that are not finished. Oh. And as you can see, I mean, pretty... Pretty big difference in finish. Let's see if it could you. Right? So there you go. Makes a big difference. It's time consuming as hell. Let's see, I got a little bit of the vinyl still unstuck in there. But, uh, you know, this is kind of what de stresses the metal and prevents cracking. From what I'm told. So yeah, this uh, this is probably the crappiest part of building your airplane. Because, I mean, you got to do this to every single rib, every single everything. Cut. Sand. Deburr. Repeat. Have fun.